Hi everyone, it's a balmy 33 degrees here in New England, so I got my heater running and uh, the temperature in the garage has come up quite a bit so I can move my fingers correctly. We're going to start taking apart this N20 engine. We're going to start by taking a look at the oil filter. You can actually learn a lot about your engine's health by just looking at the oil filter itself. We're going to have a bunch of things to check into, so let's take this apart pull out the oil filter and we'll look at it together. All right, let's take the oil filter cap off. You do need a special tool and a 22 millimeter socket for this tool. Let's take a look at the oil filter on this particular engine and see if it gives us any information on what might have happened. Now when you're loosening this, just bring it up to the top so the seal is broken free. The oil will drain back, open the cap, and let the oil drain for a second. That way you don't get any spillage. What are you looking for when you're doing your oil change? You want to check to see what kind of debris you have. And actually, I already found a problem with this particular engine. So do you see something right here, right? So I have my cap and I have my oil filter. There, the insert is missing. This may have contributed to this engine's failure. Without this insert, there's a sleeve in here that's part of the cap that has an O-ring that seals this passage. You can have oil pressure issues, which can lead to failure in your engine. Common failure when you have the insert missing for your oil filter cap is you'll have vanos faults. So you'll have intake and exhaust vanos faults, and you might even have oil pressure faults. So when you're doing your oil change, don't throw away the center piece. A lot of times if you go to a quick loop service, right, they'll pull the whole piece out. That'll come off with the oil filter and they'll throw the insert away. And then your SOL, they'll put it together and then you'll drive off. And eventually you're going to end up with some faults and some issues. All right, so now we're going to take a look at the oil filter and see if this gives us any clue on what is going on inside of this engine. Realistically, you should make checking your oil filter part of a normal oil service. Even if you have it done somewhere else, have them bag it for you so that you have it and you can take a look at this. So what are we looking for? We're looking for metal. We're looking for pieces of plastic. If we do find metal, we want to see is it aluminum or is it steel? So you can use a magnet to see if it's aluminum or steel and we want to see if there's any signs of copper. Copper would mean that your bottom end bearings are starting to fail and that's a big deal. So let's just take a look at and open up each fin here and take a look inside and you can see already there is a lot of aluminum debris. I don't see any copper right there. So there's a lot of aluminum material. It's stuffed with aluminum. So how do I know if it's aluminum? Let me grab the magnet. All right, clean off the end of the magnet. And really all you need to do is stick it inside the fins and see if you pull out any material. And I'm really not pulling out anything here. So it is aluminum, it's not steel. Now this is an aluminum head. As you can see, it does not stick. as opposed to steel and the block as well. So this is a lot of aluminum here where that's where that material is coming from and I would expect it might be our bearing caps which are a straight drilled cam and basically the caps are the bearing. So we have to take a look at the each cap. We're going to pull the valve cover off next video and we're going to take a look at the bearing caps to see if we have any metal transfer or any scoring uh, that may have been caused from top end damage due to oil pressure issues. So again, just a quick check. You can learn a lot just from your oil filter. So it is a good idea on every service to go ahead and bag it and keep it and take a look at it. Or if you're doing the oil change yourself, take a good look at the oil filter and that way you'll have a good way to tell the general health of your engine let me know if you see anything weird. If you do see something that looks out of the ordinary and you want to send me a picture, just go to my website at www.askthecarexperts.com. Hit the Contact Me tab, and then uh, you'll be able to reach out to me. I'll contact you back, and, and you can send me pictures of what you're seeing, and I'll give you a hand 
and see if I can help you figure out what's going on with your engine. Hope you found this quick video helpful. If this is something that you normally do, let me know. If it's something that you don't normally do, let me know. And it just might be something that you want to add to your normal oil change procedure, just so you have an idea of the state of health of your engine. Thanks for watching my quick video, and please subscribe to my Ask the Car Expert YouTube channel if you haven't yet. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.